Well, I'm in my office. It was another rainy day. It like rained all day, and at the end of the day, it turns beautiful. And I come out. I'm like a vampire. I come out to paddle the river at night. The tide is full. It's at flood, and now it's ebbing. It's, uh, it has just turned. So I've paddled up against the tide, and when it's time to go back, I will go with the flow. So hope you're doing well, hope you had a great weekend, and that you're thinking about the next week to come and imagining it working out better than you could possibly imagine. Imagine a week where everything just kind of fits into place. You've had those weeks. Why not have them all the time? You know? And uh, why not? Why not go for it, right? What, What's the worst that could happen? You don't get it? Like, okay, so what? But if you do get it, it'll be awesome, right? So, ah, I got an idea just before I left the house for the river to uh, take some of these calm, still video clips that, I mean, I have a lot of calm river from the last week and a half. It's just calm. And I thought, you know what I could do? Oh, there is a big bird of prey in there, but I don't think it's an eagle. It, I saw like st a striped band on its tail. And it's right in a tree behind, behind the phone. <laughs> so of course I had the camera on me and I missed it. I'm glad I'm not a professional nature photographer. That's hard shit. Anyway, there's a bunch of geese down here and they are paying very close attention to that hawk or immature bald eagle, whatever the case may be. I'm going to see if I can get in there a little closer while I've got you on the phone here and I'm going to flip the camera so I might actually get that bird. Let's see. Hey, Matt. I was talking about putting some of this beautiful scenery to Joe Minona's music. I don't know if I said that or not. There's so much going on. Now I got conflummox and I pushed record when I meant to push stop because it wasn't recording and yeah, anyway. Hmm. One of the points I want to make about Joe Monona is that he is playing all the instruments. People have gotten used to listening to electronic sounds, which one dude can do with a synthesizer and a keyboard, MIDI keyboard setup on a very inexpensive recording situation. Joe Monona is playing all the instruments. If there's pipe organ, he's playing a real freaking pipe organ. If there's horns, he's playing the tuba, the trombone, the trumpet. He's playing it all. The saxophone, the flute, the keyboards, the drums, and it's virtuoso level stuff. I just think somebody should know. You know what I mean? This is the age of if you, if you see something, say something, right? If you see someone who is brilliant and who other people should know about, I don't know, tell other people, right? It's, it just feels right in today's age. Joe doesn't have an agent. And I also want to introduce you to the amazing work of Gene Moore. And I want to somehow capture what he does when he holds an electric guitar in his hand, it, it is different when Gene plays than when somebody else plays who's really good. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know how to put it. Uh, I saw a guy play recently who's top level musician. He played the electric guitar. He played it well. I play guitar well. Gene Moore makes the fucking guitar speak. He makes it cry or sing or shout or growl. It's just, ah, it's crazy.
And I'm not saying that because he's my friend. He's my friend because he's that good. That's the, I guess that's a kind of a point. And I've been talking in the last couple of vlogs about Mastermind. There is that it's an immature ego. Of course, didn't get it on camera. I tried, but whatever. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know, but the thing is, the mastermind, that's what I was talking about. So, Gene Moore and Joe Monona and I have kind of a mastermind in that we bring different musical specialties, you know? Gene plays a bunch of other instruments as well. It's just the guitar in his hands is something magical. Joe is just like every instrument in his hand is something magical. For me, it's the words, it's the song, it's the structure, it's doing open tunings and exploring and not having any rules, right? And so when we bring that stuff together, it's, it's just crazy good. And another person that I want to play with is Brian Mellick. He's my, my uh, just, he's an amazing drummer and uh, very sensitive to the kind of music that I do. Uh, and Joy Adler, just some of the top, top musicians I've ever worked with, but they're also some of the top people that I could actually hang out with. And just, I'm talking about sustainable collaborations, you know, where you just love working with somebody and you just get together a couple of times a year and you, you pound something out or you create something that didn't exist before and it's just so satisfying to everybody. That's the creative process, but you have to honor the fact that you don't do everything. Like, Joe Monona does not play the violin very well, you know? But he knows a violin well enough so that he can phrase it and create the nuances of a stringed instrument without having to play it. But you see, that's what most people do. But Joe plays the actual instruments on most of the instruments that he plays, right? So anyway, uh, just some thoughts from the river. And I have a boat coming. So I am going to go chase some waves and some more quiet night footage. <laughs> As if I don't have enough. All right, peace groom is over and out. Boom. If you like this, guys, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. Ring the little bell so you get notifications. All that kind of stuff. Because I'm putting up stuff every day. And some of it's starting to get pretty good. If I say so myself. Because I'm really exploring uh, making films. And combining music and visuals in new ways that I've never done before. And it's exciting and it's fun. And I, I'm so glad you're a part of it. And I really appreciate every moment that you spend with me here on the river in the uh, Hypnosis on the Hudson series. Or is it an experimental life? Or is it a life in song? Or is it modern Jedi mind mastery? It could be any one or all of those things. And I just am so grateful that you've tuned in, you've turned on, and now I hope you transform your life the way you want it to transform. Go for what you want, people. We're all gonna die. Let's go for what we want, right? Ooh, and the sun just came out of the clouds. Ooh, I feel illuminated. I feel illuminated. I feel illuminated. Joy!